poem was inspired by um, a story which I heard on the news, as a lot of my poems are, because maybe my own life isn't really interesting. <laughs> <laughs> this is, um, I'm sure you all heard about the Costa Concordia, the, the, uh, the cruise ship which sank off the coast of Italy earlier this year, and um, I heard this story about one guy who actually died. Um, when that ship sank, because he was um, he was a professional violinist and he was working on the cruise ship, um, you know, the string quartet, entertaining the passengers. And apparently, the last that was seen of him was that he was um, helping some of the other passengers put their life jackets on and get them safely into the lifeboat. And then after he did all that, he went back down into the ship to fetch his violin. And um, just it was really sad. So I wrote him a poem. His name is Sandor Feyer, and this poem is for him. It's called Air on a Heartstring. If you'd known it was a calm before the storm, you might have noticed something uncanny or unreal in the way the light reflected back and forth a thousand times between champagne flute and chandelier. You might have seen in the fine red wine, red wine, sloshed, posh, cloth, soft furnishings, messages of warning painted in blood. And you might have known that the to and fro and to and fro and to and fro was not the gentle lilting of a lulling ship at sea, but it's lulling you into a false sense of security. But there were no storm clouds, no warnings or forecasts or blood-red skies, no distant rumblings or omens from on high, nothing sinister in the ching of glass on crystal glass or ring of laugh on cackling laugh or string of bow on violin, and so you only felt the calm. Perhaps if you had known that you were sounding your last notes, you might have played a different tune to keep their hopes afloat, something poignant, something perfect, something truly virtuoso, plucked upon a heartstring, pizzicato, lacrimoso, oh so soulful, sweetly you'd have spilled into their ears that slow, fast, fast, slow, last slow, dance, romance slow of your bow, like salt water weeping into pores, chords falling like waves crescendo crashing into skin. The last tune you would hear before you diminuendo deep back down within, where your heartbeat then stopped and you were rhapsody in blue, raptured in a shroud of sound. <laughs>